Hello guys, thank you for tuning into my video. Cardano is on the rise again and that means we will probably be getting a lot more first time holders into our community. So for that reason, I figured I would like to make a quick video explaining what I think is the fastest and most beginner friendly way to get started with Cardano wallets. And more importantly, Cardano staking. Let's get right into it. Yoroi wallet is a hot wallet that you can download on a multitude of platforms. In this video, I will be using the iOS version, but the steps should be pretty much the same no matter which version you are using. Once you have downloaded the app, you'll be presented with an option to create a shell or Byron era wallet. Here I can safely say that you will want to create a Shelly wallet. Byron is basically a discontinued version of Cardano that they don't update anymore and which is also not available for staking, which I think is something we all want. So we'll select to create a new Shelly wallet and the first step is to pick a name for it. The name really doesn't matter, it's just so you will be able to keep track of your wallets should you create more of them. I will very creatively name mine Sweski wallet. Not sweaty wallet, I hope not at least. After that, you will want to create a spending password. This is the password you will use when making transactions and performing other actions in your wallet. So I will go ahead and remove my phone while I fill that in. After you've done that, you will be prompted to write down a recovery phrase. And this step is very important. This is the only way you will be able to recover your wallet should you lose your phone or in other ways be unable to access the device that you are using. I'm not going to show you mine obviously, but make sure you write this down on a piece of paper. Don't take screenshots, don't save it on your computer, because if you get hacked, then your wallet might be gone as well. Write it down on a piece of paper and hide it somewhere safe. Don't let anybody know what the code is for. Once you've verified your recovery code, your wallet is set up and you're all ready to get started with Cardano. When entering your wallet, you will be presented with five different menu options. The first is your transaction log. This is where you will see a history of payments you've sent and funds you've received. The next is the send screen. This is what you will use when making payments or simply sending funds to other wallets. After that comes the receive screen. This is where you will get your wallet address that you can use when sending funds from an exchange or simply receiving ADA from other wallets. I will get back to the dashboard and delegation tabs later since these are both related to staking which you will only be able to do once you have some Cardano in your wallet. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is to transfer some Cardano from an exchange to this wallet. To do that I simply go to the receive screen, click on the address and copy to clipboard. What's really neat is that once you use your address once you will get a new one. That way nobody can keep track of which wallet belongs to who. Once you've copied your address, you're ready to go to an exchange and buy some Cardano. If you're looking for a Cardano exchange, I know that Kraken.com or Kraken.com is a popular choice for browsers. If you're looking for a mobile version, I can also recommend Crypto.com. I believe they let you buy crypto via card without any fees for the first 30 days. I will leave links to both of these exchanges in the description. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to when I have received some ADA in my wallet. Alright guys, now I've just received a grand total of 123 ADA, as you can see in my transaction history here. And that means we can get to the fun stuff, which is staking. I'm not going to get into how staking works or which stake pool you should pick. That's a very large subject and there are already plenty of great tutorials on YouTube that you can check out. I'm simply going to show you how you can delegate to a stake pool through the Juroi app. First, we can now go to our dashboard and see that we have some funds available for staking. Once we do start getting rewards, we will also be able to withdraw them here on the dashboard. But first, we will want to delegate our funds using the staking center. If you've already found a staking pool that you like, you can search for it here and delegate right away. I'm just going to go through the top ones and pick one at random. I will go with Kiwi, seems like a popular choice. Once I'm happy with my selection of pool, I simply press delegate. And here, it will automatically fill in your unstaked value balance minus the fee they deduct when you start your delegation. For me it's 2.17 something Cardano. So don't be thrown off if this number looks weird, it's just a fee based on a not so rounded percentage. Also you will get an estimate right here on how much Cardano this delegation will make you per epoch, which in Cardano terms is 5 days. So every 5 days you will receive approximately this much ADA in interest. Now I will simply type in my spending password and then hit delegate. If done correctly, that should take me to my transaction log where I can see that the fee has been successfully deducted. And if I then go to my dashboard, it now says I have 120 ADA delegated. Nice! So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Please do leave me a comment if you have any questions or corrections. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a good one.